So today we're going to look at, do a quick overview of build.com's accounts receivable function. So when you come here, when you first log in, you'll be at the home page. And on here, it kind of gives you a to-do list, a cash forecast, and some other quick links, which you can definitely look at if you're going to go try out their trial account. Um, but right now, we're going to just go take a look at it, receivables. First thing you'll see is they have a nice little dashboard that kind of shows you what's overdue, what's due in the next seven days, and you know your total amount due. It gives you dollar values and number. And then you can go come over here and click on your overdue invoices. And this is one of the slickest features they have, is you can just go in here and click here and send via email or send via US mail. And so you can actually, they'll actually send out an invoice for you via US mail. And I think that's $1.45 per, but that's really nothing compared to the amount of time it would take you to print them out put them in an envelope, stamp them, and send them out. So it's just a nice, easy way to do that. As you can see up here, they can, you can also set up automatic reminders for um, emails, email reminders 30, 60, 90 days after it's due for your clients. With those email reminders, kind of with the same with payables is in there, there'll be a link where they can go up, go ahead and set up an account and pay you electronically, which is always nice. But for creating invoices, there's a couple ways you can do that. You can go and manually put in the data, or you can get your, or you can go in here to your settings and hook up your accounting software and do invoicing through your accounting software if you like that better. And then this will just pull in all those invoices and customer data, and then that will just show up here. And then you can use this as a as a portal for your clients to come in and pay online or as well as sending out invoices. The one thing I will mention about Bill.com is that, at least with Zero, and I haven't played with this with QuickBooks yet, but um, when recording payments for invoices, they need to be recorded in Bill.com. They don't sync over to from Zero to Bill.com. So if you have the invoice in Zero and you click that, you check it off as paid in Zero, fully paid, it's not going to sync that payment over here to Bill.com. But if you put a payment on an invoice in bill.com, it syncs to zero. So that's kind of a little weird thing. I hope that hopefully they fix it so it goes both ways. But for right now, that's how it is. And to do that, you just cl click on get paid and you can put in a cash payments or check payments. But you should really force force your customers. Not right set of war, um, use of words, but you should really ask your customers or highly incentivize them to pay you online. It takes a lot of hassle out of out of your job when you do that. So that's a quick overview of Bill.com's accounts receivable side. And uh, like I mentioned in my other video, I really do enjoy their software. It makes a lot, takes some things that most people don't, just are terrible and hard to do and take forever that you just, you know, they make them easy. So um, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. And uh, thanks.